Whether it's a gym membership or online streaming services, it can get pretty easy to forget what subscriptions we have out there. Of course, your bank account knows which ones you have. You're getting hit continuously. But online platforms like Bud are trying to look at changing this for us. Joining us now, Derek Zito. He's the co-founder of Butter. Good to see you, Derek. Thanks for having me, Greg. All right, so let's start with Butter. This is for people who might not know. There's a lot of tools out there right now to try to help people keep track of where they're spending money. Because a lot of us, we just lo we lose track, particularly when we have a lot of subscriptions. Yeah, so I think that's the really interesting thing about subscriptions. These days, they're just sort of recurring every month on month over your credit card. And in many cases, they're not even sending you receipts. So what we're trying to do with Butter is to give people visibility. First, we help you track, understand what you have, and then you can decide what you want to do with them. So it's great to get access to things like Netflix, Spotify, but you also got to pay attention because otherwise, if you're not using it, they're still going to bill you monthly. So as we said at the top, your bank account is feeling the pain of your monthly subscriptions, even if you might be turning a blind eye to it. What does Butter do in terms of integrating its platform with uh, your, your banking information? Yeah, so we actually do it two ways. So uh, I think there's two types of people that we're trying to help. One is people that want to track but maybe don't want to use a spreadsheet and want to enter their data manually. So you can do that on the platform. If you want an expedited way, you can actually link credit card. And that's the most common way people mostly pay for their subscriptions because it is recurring in nature. And we'll just pull the transactions from your credit card, match them to subscriptions in a database, and we'll build you a nice table, a nice dashboard showing you what you're paying for what services. And then you can go review and decide what you want to do with them. Now, I'm old school, uh, and my sister's an accountant, so she helped me out with this years ago. I use an Excel spreadsheet to pretty much do the same thing. But when you do start to itemize these things, you are surprised. $10.99, $14.99 doesn't sound like a lot, but when you start to add it all up, it can be sort of surprising. Do you find people using your platform, once they actually put all that information in, they go, oh my god, I can't believe this much money is going out the door monthly on these things. Yes, it, absolutely. So we've seen that a lot. There's actually scenarios where we've seen people are actually, you know, within the family, like double paying for the same subscription, and they're able to catch that and they be able to cancel one. Uh, you know, Google Drive, Dropbox storage is uh, one that's very common. Um, we also see people just think, oh, you know, I thought I canceled that subscription after the free trial many months ago, and now they catch it and they can see it on their dashboard. So um, we give you the information, and typically people think they might have like two, three, four subscriptions. There's all these new types of subscriptions that people don't think of as recurring, but they show up, and people are more in the six, seven, eight type of subscriptions that they have on their credit card. Subscription meal kits, there's all these new things like car subscriptions. Streaming is not just Netflix anymore. There's separate streaming services across many different channels. So um, how do you put that all in one place? And we can help you with that. I think it could be a useful tool as well, speaking as a father of two teenagers, to actually knowing what they're up to as well, because they will go out and sign up for things and not actually tell me. And if I miss it, if I miss that one email that goes by in the family email account that they've signed up to something that's going to cost me 30 bucks a month, I'll be paying $30 a month. I won't even know about it. Yeah, and that's the way it sort of cuts both ways. It's going to happen every single month. So how do you have visibility on that? So you can decide how do you have that conversation with your kids with that information in hand. And I think you're really good. You're willing to give your kids your credit card number and get them to sign up for what they want. This is very nice of you. So many mistakes. So many mistakes <laughs> made, and now it costs me uh, dearly. In, in your own experience, by having set this up, what, what, what was the impetus for you to, to, to create this? I, I actually also tracked my subscriptions. I have a lot lot of subscriptions, so I would use things like spreadsheets, talk to friends, also same thing. And I think what you're seeing in the economy is a really a shift over to an entire society based around subscriptions. So if you think about the business world, it's things like Adobe, Creative Suite, and Photoshop moving to a subscription basis, Office 365. The business world has all moved towards SaaS, and now the consumer world is coming. So even things that used to be hard assets, you have Peloton with a bike, and you have ClassPass, um, which is a new type of multi-gym subscription. So there's just an abundance of new and different subscriptions in the world. And we think we can help solve a real problem, a problem that, in many cases, people don't even know yet that they have. Yeah, very interesting. I hadn't even thought about that. Yeah, I, I can remember. I'm old enough, too, to remember when you bought, like, Windows, uh, the Word suite with Excel on a little disk, and it had a year attached to it. Now, of course, it's just a recurring subscription kind of thing. That you, yeah, and it's great account. for Microsoft. It's actually great for consumers because you get updated software. Um, where it's not great is if you lose track of them, and then you're paying for things you don't use. Fascinating stuff. Thanks for joining us, Derek. Yeah, thanks for having me. Derek Zito is co-founder of Butter.